everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you're turning welcome back so today I am doing my summer curly hair routine it's a little bit different from my winter and spring hair routines so I just wanted to show you guys what I've done all summer and how I've achieved a lot of volume and moisturized curls so for my shampoo I use the Innocence color awakening hair bath and for my conditioner I use not your mother's naturals conditioner and for my deep conditioner, I used the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Deep Conditioner. I will also put that in the description box down below, which products I used while I was in the shower and the products I used for styling my hair. And so first I am just re-wetting my hair because it got a little too dry from having it in a t-shirt because I had it in there for a little while. And then... I am just making sure I have enough water in. You'll see I'm kind of squeezing my hair a little bit to see if I have enough water in my hair for when I apply products. And first I am going to go in with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream and, and the Weedad Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. And so first I am just taking a little bit of and just raking it through my hair. I don't want to put too much of the defining cream in for it to weigh down my curls because I want a lot of volume today. And I am using my fingers. I found this when I want a lot of volume. It's easier and it doesn't mess up your natural curl pattern. When you because like, when you use a brush, it kind of changes your curl pattern a little bit. So yeah, when I want a lot of volume. I'll use my fingers and I want a lot of definition. I will use my Denman brush and kind of twist it around so it gives you some really so it gives me some really defined curls. And so now I'm going in with the gel and I'm scrunching, scrunching, scrunching. And I'm starting from the bottom to the top to make sure it gets through my hair evenly and to make sure I don't disrupt my curls. And as I'm putting the gel in my hair, you'll see me kind of do some finger coiling. Um, it's just to help enhance some of the curls that are a little limp or I just want to enhance them a little bit but with not with my fingers and not a brush because you can definitely tell a difference. And the gel I'm using, the Weedad Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel is my go-to. Like this is one of my favorite gels I've ever used. A lot of people say it's a dupe for the Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. I think that's what it's called i've used Diva curl in so long but yeah a lot of people say it's a dupe for that i think it's actually way better i definitely give this gel a 10 out of 10 like on my day what four or five my curls are still holding up the volume is like twice or three times as bigger as my first day so yeah when i take it out of my pineapple when it's wrapped in my silk scarf at night and i take it out when i fluff it out i really don't have to put any product i probably put some more oils in my hair to get it some more volume but yeah, I really, majority of the time, do not have to put more products in. So yeah, I definitely recommend this gel that you have in your collection. It's a little on the pricier side, but it's definitely worth it. Let me tell you, because I wish somebody would have told me about it way sooner. But yeah, it's definitely a product you need in your curl collection. And now I'm just going to finish applying the products to my hair. And remember, I'm not putting too much products in my hair. So my curls aren't way down. And then remember, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. And if you want to do some finger coiling, you can. And now I'm just going to finish applying the products throughout my hair.
And now I'm almost done. I'm just finishing up the finger coiling around my bangs area because my curls were damaged. So they're finally getting back to how they were. So I just wanted to put a little curl enhancement just to help them a little bit. And now I'm just gonna finish by scrunching, 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 and yeah. Okay, so now that I'm finished applying all the products to my hair, I'm now going to diffuse, but I'm gonna do that off camera, and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished look. Okay, so this is right after I just finished diffusing my hair, so it's pre-fluff and pre-pick. So I'm just going to just kinda fluff it around a little bit. Okay, so first I am going to apply some of my oil so I can um, give it some more volume. Rosemary Mint Scalp Hair Strengthening Oil infused with biotin and encourages growth. This is my second bottle. I absolutely love it. Squeeze a little. And then I'm going to So I flip my hair over and I apply the oil to my roots because when you when you flip your head over, you're moving your roots and it helps with more volume. So that's why I flipped it over and I'm applying the oil that way. So now I'm going in. Uh, <laughs> so now I'm going in with my pick just to fluff it out a little bit. much but just enough and then I will fluff it out the rest with my fingers okay so now I'm just gonna fluff it out pieces in the front Give me some more volume. So this is my finished look after I diffused, after I picked, and after I fluffed. And yes, I am loving the results. My hair still looks very shiny and very moisturized. And there's still a little bit, a little bit of a cast on my hair from the gel. But yeah, all in all, this is a really good wash day. So if you enjoyed this video and how I achieve these curls and this volume, of course, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button. And if you have any comments, please comment down below. And I will be bringing you guys some more videos of my favorite products, hair and skin 2020, so far this year. Stay tuned for those videos. And once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.